Hello everyone. This is the first video from two videos where I will explain to you about the types of function. In this first video, I will introduce you on three types of function. The first is polynomial function, the next will be rational function, and the last is power function. So let's continue. So what is a polynomial function? In general, the form of a polynomial function is as follows. A polynomial is generally represented as px, where here we have x as the variables, n as the power, and a as the constant coefficient. A polynomial function is said to be degree x, and the x here is the highest power of the variable of the function. The domain of a polynomial function is entire real number r. Now here, here are the most common type of polynomial function that we mostly encounter with. We have a constant function or a zero polynomial function, a zero degree polynomial function, then a linear polynomial function or a degree one polynomial function, a quadratic polynomial function, the highest degree is 2, so it's a degree 2 function. Cubic polynomial function, the highest degree is 3, so it's a degree 3 polynomial function. A quartic, degree 4 polynomial function. Now let's see how the graph of a polynomial function look like. Of course, each function would look different according to its degree. The first is the zero degree function or the constant function. Here I gave an example y equals to 4. It appears as a straight horizontal line which is independent of value of x. The second graph is a linear function polynomial degree 1. In the standard formula for degree 1, a represent the slope and b represent the y-intercept of a line because the general form is y equals to ax plus b. In the example here, I show the intercept would be 3 and the slope is 2. The next graph is a polynomial function degree 2, or a quadratic function. I show here there are two uh, graphs, yeah, x squared plus 2x minus 3 and minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. Um, the difference is that if the a is smaller than 1, like the second equation, then your function, your quadratic function would be facing downward and the uh, quadratic function would be facing upward if you have the a, the coefficient from the uh, x square is positive. Uh, so a quadratic function have a parabola curve with one extreme point which is called a vertex. Now for a degree for a higher degree polynomial, I would like to show you here a 4 degree polynomial function. A note I would like to emphasize here is the degree of a polynomial beside it defines of the function. It also can tell us the maximum intersect a straight line can have for the function. For example, in our function here, it is degree 4. Thus, any straight line passing the curve will have intersection with four points in the curve. Four point of intersection. Now, our next type of function is rational function. Recall that a number that can be expressed in the form of p per q is a rational number. It's called a rational number. Thus, rational function is the ratio of two polynomial function with denominator poly polynomial not equal to zero. 
The general form is as follow, where the denominator, the, uh, the polynomial function for the denominator function should not be equal to zero. Just like the rational number, we cannot have a zero as denominator. From the given condition of qx, we can conclude that zeros of the polynomial function in the denominator do not fall in the domain of the function. And when qx equals to 1, then the rational function is just equal to a polynomial function. So our last discussion of the type of function is power function. The general form of a power function is as shown here, where n is the power, x is the base, and c is the constant. And c and x would be a constant for x greater than 0. It is assumed greater than 0 because for any values of the power n, for example, we have n equals to a half, 1 over 2, the function is not defined for negative value of x. Here we have an example, 2, with the base uh, here minus 4, power 1 over 2. And we can re rewrite it as the square root of minus 4 times 2. And the square root of a negative value has is not defined. We also exclude the x equals to 0 because 0 to a power of any value is also not defined. Now, the graphical representation of a power function depends on its power. Here, we, we use r as the symbol of, of, of the power. So if the power is between 0 and 1, your function would likely uh, appear this way. And then if the power is greater than 1, it will appear this way, so having a positive slope. And if it is smaller than 0, your, uh, uh, your um, power function would appear like this. We have come to the end of our first video about types of function. See you in the second video on types of function.